If you guys are looking for super cheap and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got 24-7 support. Guys, don't waste your money on packs. Hit up the sponsor. Use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off of your entire order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the best ways to build a no-money-spent team in Madden 21, guys. Now, I know a lot of you guys either A, are still in the trial by... Um, not gonna say but regardless of how you guys are in the trial the thing here is is that i know a lot of you guys are probably trying to build a team a lot of you guys don't spend money on packs maybe you guys only buy coins but the thing is i understand it's tough like what's the best way to build a team without spending money now i know as all the um the madden players that just start getting the game at official release without the trial like 25th 28th those guys are really going to be uh, concerned because those guys are usually even if you're a money spender you still go no money spent for a little bit just because you want to see what you can kind of get on the field first like how this game plays what you want to get and then, then you kind of figure it out from there but I made this video last year, you guys really did enjoy it. A lot of people have been requesting it, so I'm going to be doing it again for you guys so you guys can have a pretty good understanding. So, to go over my best tips and best advice to build a no money spent team in just a second, guys. Make sure to go down below. If you are into the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys, and join the family. If you guys want great tips, great gameplays, great coin tips, great content, daily news on Madden, there's the channel to come to. Guys, if you haven't checked out those gameplays yesterday, make sure to do so. Those gameplays did really well. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed one of the first Barry Sander gameplays in the world. But that's about it. Make sure to like this video, guys. Can we get this video to over 250 likes? That'd be greatly appreciated, guys. But anyways, let's head into the video. So, first bit of advice for a no-money-spent team when you enter the game is going to be this simple. The first thing every no-money-spent guy wants to do is go to the solo challenge. Now, I am on my computer account because I am locked out of EA on my Xbox account for some reason right now. I have a theory. I'll explain that more in depth on Twitter. If you don't follow me, go over there for more in-depth information on that. But... First thing you want to do for a no money spent team is go down below and check out these solo challenges. Why do you do so? Because a no money spent team has to be super efficient. You guys cannot be wasting coins or positions or cards. So let me give you an example. You get 50k. When you're in the game, you have 50k, right? And you're like, should I go play solo? Should I get my should I, should I go buy cards? So the first thing you do is, oh, I, I need a quarterback. So you go buy, let's just say, a Russell Wilson for 50k, and you're like, I feel good. I spent my money on my quarterback. Now you go into the rival solos and you find out you get three, you get one of three cards, and one of them is Ben Roethlisberger, who happens to be your favorite quarterback. So you take Ben Roethlisberger. Now you have two quarterbacks. That's fine. You can sell Russell Wilson for 50, 60k, but with the reduction, you just lost 6k. Is it that much? No, but this happens a lot. So add it up. 6k, you do that like maybe 10 to 20 times a month of maybe even more selling card, and it's adding up to uh, over 100k. So that's the thing. Got to be very careful and very efficient with no money spent teams. Also, you can't always get guys you like. You have to get guys who are the best spot for your team. So let's say there's a guy like Russell Wilson for 100K, let's just say now, 100K, and um, there's a quarterback, Jimmy Garoppolo, for 84K. Let's say Russell Wilson's not mobile enough to really help you just yet with the way his stats are set up. Jimmy Garoppolo's not too far behind. He goes for 30K, he's a quarter of the price. So you're like, I want Russell Wilson. So no, you take Jimmy Garoppolo in that aspect. I will go over that in just a second, but let's go back to the solos. So let's say you go to the solos, you do them, there's Zach Ertz, Jalen Smith, Ben Roethlisberger. Let's just say Ben Roethlisberger is not your cup of tea and you're going Jalen Smith. That's what I recommend anyways. You take Jalen Smith, now your linebacker spot's locked up. So in that case, do not buy a linebacker. Also, you do get your free pre-order pack. So remember, you do get one of those free 82 base elites. So make sure you do not take a linebacker. That's what I'm talking about too. Do not use that pack as well. Make sure you get all the free players the game guarantees you before you go ahead and touch the auction block or you, tell, or you do sets or anything. So then you come out of this. You come to the EA Play and you realize milestones. You get an 80 plus nat elite for playing this. So then I, that's where I tell you guys to play your solos first. Because what if, what if, right, you take that Jalen Smith as your linebacker? Again, this is where this is where even this should be done first. You take that Jalen Smith as your linebacker, then you get an 80 plus elite, and you get Bobby Wagner nat. Can't sell him. Can't sell Jalen Smith either. But the beauty of that is you can use two linebackers. Now worse, you take Ben Roethlisberger. Now you take this and you get Russell Wilson. Now you have two quarterbacks, waste, you can't start two. This is why I always say, my best piece of advice here is always take a depth position when it comes to free players. So when they offer you Jalen Smith, Zach Ertz, Ben Roethlisberger, Ben Roethlisberger should be instantly off your list. 85 quarterback won't last you more than a few days and won't be useful if you ever get a new one. Zach Ertz is iffy and Jalen Smith is your best bet because you will always start two linebackers and maybe even three when one of them gets tired user. So that'll be fine. So now you get an 80 plus elite nat here. You get a, you get any other position in the game, it's fine. Just you don't want one where you're going to be stuck like a double quarterback. So that's the best advice I can give you there. Next, you go to Team Affinity. 
and you see you get 70 plus 70 plus 70 plus and as you get all the way down you do get a few other stuff now these are going to be cards i think that are auctionable so these shouldn't affect you too much again if you get a double player like here you can always just sell them and there, of course, are more souls. I'm a low level, though, so I can't unlock all of them just yet. But that's my first thing of advice. And no matter when you join the game, if you join in October, you join in November, December, this video will be relevant all year. Because this is not time sensitive. This is merely intro sensitive when you get into the game. So no matter when you join, always check the solos and see where we stand in mud at that point. What solos to be played, what cards to be gotten. What if you come into the game? In October and it's the Halloween promo there's a, there's a house rules and they give you a free 93 overall Halloween player get that done first before you go ahead see what position you get and then work your team from there but moving on from the solos next is how a no money spent team should be focused on no money spent team should be getting to level 50 as soon as possible why is that no money spent needs thrives off coins that they get from earning earning coins and they thrive off free players now the thing is, no money. Oh, sorry. The max mutt level grind is probably the greatest way to earn gain coins in a short period of time. That can easily grant you over a million coins in power passes, which is huge. Power pass will give you free players, um, coin quick sells, fantasy packs. Now again, here's the thing: the fantasy packs do cost a few bucks. I will not shun against you if you use them. I use them, but I know no money spent guys are super hardcore sometimes. They won't do that, but those do give you a lot of coins as well. And then of course you just get like level of packs, like stuff that maybe they even grant you, like a gridiron pack or some other stuff. Anyways, moving on from that, you do want to be focusing on the milestones. This will be the best way for you guys to really figure out what's going on in the game. You want to get your team captain as well. And then the other thing is with Mutt Master, you definitely want to be focusing on Mutt Master and Level Master. These are going to be two of the best players in your team all year that you're going to be getting, getting for free without having to spend a single dime on the game. Now, moving on to the auction block, which is an important aspect because no many spend players I feel like don't understand the proper way sometimes to really use their coins. So let's, let me show you an example here. So you come up here, no money spent, guys aren't a budget squad but they're not a god squad they're somewhere in between they if are if, if they're good at the game they play like they have a god squad without having one and that's the beauty of it you're able to compete without being able to have the best players now the thing is yes you will be at a slight disadvantage in some games but you won't feel too far behind because if you, if you grind hard enough now here's the thing a lot of guys don't understand the way to properly use their coins to maximize profit so here's the no money spent guys should not be working the should not should not be auctioning every day and that doesn't mean they shouldn't be investing or picking up cards that means they should not be i like i don't know what to call these guys these are the um these are the madden ultimate team squirrels like they have like a goldfish attention span squirrel attention span they buy my homes today that was fun i'm gonna try lamar now they sell them get lamar that was fun i'm gonna try jimmy garoppolo now sell them get him again okay back to my homes it might sound like a good idea, but here's the thing. You bought Mahomes for 220, you sold them. Reduction, lost 20K. You then bought Lamar for 140, you sold them. Reduction, 14K, you're now down 34K. You bought Russell Wilson for 100K, you sold him, you're back to Mahomes. You've now lost a total of about 60,000 coins in reduction, which was half the price of Lamar, so you practically just lost half of Lamar's value. So that is why it is so important to really be careful when you're on the auction block and make sure you're really buying something you want. Don't. That's why I don't buy, unless it's a great price. If you see Mahomes for 180, you buy it, of course, because that means that you're going to be able to at least at bare minimum resell him for the value he's worth, even after reduction. So here's the thing. So you see a guy like Christian McCaffrey, right? 181. Great card. No money spent guys will probably have to spend all their coins to get him. But why not go down here and look in the 84 section and see if you can find something similar. But yes, Christian McCaffrey is your favorite player. He's my favorite player too. But the thing is, you can't be focused on that. Then you see a guy like Dalvin Cook. And you're like, huh, 84 speed, 85 excel. He may not juke as well, but for the early stages of the game, Dalvin Cook may get the job done. And he's only 41K. So for less than one fourth of the price, you are getting a dog at running back that you can do similar things with without being a preference player. Or you say, huh, how about Nick Chubb? Nick Chubb has an 85 speed. He's just as fast. He can't change direction as well, but he'll be able to score the big plays just as well for half the price. And you're like, okay, that's a pretty good buy. Now, but wait, you don't like the Browns. That's fine there you have to drop preference bias is the worst thing in life at times when it comes to running a fantasy team making trades i'm um, spending your money bias hurts bias makes people do things that they necessarily shouldn't do from a financial standpoint or a mental standpoint or anything in general so that's one of the things you have to focus on do not over auction unless you're getting sni unless you're sniping or investing do not over auction for the sake of doing it no money spent team should be focused on getting all the free players grinding the game playing online and picking up players when they need them so they play online they realize huh my budget running back's not 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 cutting it i'm gonna take a portion of my earnings this week on the million coins i have from maximum level i'm gonna buy myself a good running back they go online 
if they're winning they don't touch their team like if they're winning they grind that's the thing i usually always be trying to get your coins like this your coins should never be like this see for me or youtubers who are spending their coins is always up down up down up down no money spent guys should get up to a million spend 200k get to 800k grind for a week get it back to a million buy another card get it back to me you should always keep like a, a storage of money for multiple reasons big investments power of investments big promos and you should always have coins ready to go for anything you need because you're not going to have the luxury of if you have zero coins tomorrow a card comes out or there's a good investment opportunity or a special pack something you're not going to be spending money so money is the only way or buying coins is the only way to get your coins up instantly when you need them so you always want to have a bank of coins and this is exactly how i used to play for many years eight plus years up until i started doing youtube last year now so again you don't want to be auctioning too much so let's say again you go online your running backs doing great now some people are getting some better cornerbacks and your wide receivers aren't cutting it anymore and you're like okay my, i lost my passing game here's where you come to the auction block and you look for wide receivers now again you can always treat yourself to the best wide receiver in the game if you really want to like a Tyree kill but again Tyree kill is super expensive so maybe you opt for a combination instead of spending $3.99 on Tyree kill maybe you go ahead and you pick up a Julio Jones for $169 and then you get a and then you get a budget receiver like a Henry Ruggs or someone lower that you could be like okay I have the speed option I also have a good catcher and that look a lot more better than just a Tyree kill or you get an Odell again a nice guy to replace someone like that you can come down here and you look for an Odell Beckham Jr. 70k he has the 86 speed you can still power him up and powering up is a no money spent best friend why is that you want to be locking in players you want to be you want to be making smart decisions so don't get a guy that's good today get a guy that's gonna be good for months like an odell where you're like he'll get some cards okay you lock him in he'll get some more cards he'll be a great receiver for you most of the year and you can keep chems on him you can keep abilities because the only way you're gonna compete is by having a chemed out team with abilities because People are going to have the best cards all the time. So you're always going to be behind. You want to have the best abilities as well. So guys, that pretty much covers a lot of the best tips I have here. And uh, yeah, so training is important. Series 1 trophies are going to be so huge for you guys. Because it's going to grant you probably Series Masters, free packs, and a lot of other things as we go throughout. So make sure you are playing online a lot. And build, you can get a lot of coins that way. If you get up to a high enough series uh, season division, you can be getting up to like 3k per game. So you can easily get like 21k to 40k per um, season, which you can play in like a day. Make sure you're playing some Mutt Draft. We'll be dropping a method on that in a, a few days. And also, make sure you're just playing every solo. You're unlocking your stuff. Make sure you're doing your daily objectives too. Guys, your daily objectives are huge for no money spent because all you gotta do is open up one pack. Open up the silver pack, it's 500 coins. Open up that and then play two solos. You get a daily pack every day. This builds up for multiple reasons. First, you get a quick sell. I've gotten 250k out of there. You unlikely, on average, get like three to 10k, which is still good if you add to the math. If you pull 5k every day on that quick sell pack and you get it for 31 straight days, you're getting over 151 subtract the 500 off you're looking at around probably like 140 135k a month that's a free player every month a free top player in the game more than likely and it builds up slowly through the missions tab where you're going to be able to get by like 40 days of getting the daily objectives you get a free power pass and so on and so forth so just make sure you're doing all that guys but that is about it for the video hope you guys did enjoy if you enjoy the no money spend tips and you want to see more videos like this at some point comment down below let me know if this helped you out at all and gave you some good advice make sure to smash that like button Make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn the notify boys and friend the family. Get to 22k as quickly as possible. We're super close. Let's keep growing, let's keep grinding, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.